important. Number five from the 2013 Higher Maths Paper 2, a little log equation. If you were going to get logs at all in this, this is probably what you're most happy to see. Because you know immediately what to do with this. You gather up your logs and you throw them away. Use your laws of logarithms to add these into a single log. So I'm going to have log base 5. If you're adding logs, it'll be the single log of the product of these arguments here. So it'll be log base 5 of 3 minus 2x times 2 plus x. And that would equal 1. Now that it just says log of something, I can get rid of that log by applying its inverse to both sides. So I'll have my 3 minus 2x times 2 plus x equals inverse of log base 5 is exponential base 5. That's 5 to the power 1. This is in the form of e quadratic now, because I can see an x squared lurking in there. Multiply it out. First time's the first, that's 6. The last time's the last there, I've got minus 2x squared. Pop that 5 in while I'm at it. 5 to the power 1 is still 5. And I've got for the outer, 3x, and for the inner, minus 4. So that's a minus x altogether. Rearrange it into a well-known phrase or quadratic, and you've got... I'll just take it to the side and read it that way. So I've got 2x squared plus x minus 6, so 5 minus 6 is minus 1, equals 0. And that's got a ready factorisation. 2x squared can only be 2x times x, 1 can only be 1 times 1. The sign of the middle term goes to the larger product, that's the 2. And this says the end product should be a negative, so they must have opposite signs. And then I get two answers. I've either got x equals a half, or if I get x equals negative 1. And that's more or less it. Just check, of course, that you haven't violated the rules of these logs, which is you can't get the log of a negative number, or 0. So putting a half into both of them was fine. Putting negative 1 into both of them, well, that gives a positive, and that's still positive. So they're both good answers. There it is. Question 5.